Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our pre-conference podcast of Future Bridge. My name is Olga. Today, an event series is dedicated to Mining 4.0, a roadmap to the future. This event will happen in 8 and 9 of November in Barcelona. My great honor is uh, to welcome my guest today, IE leader, program leader of Bale, uh, Dr. Alisa Faste. Uh, welcome. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much, Olga, and thanks in advance to the organizer to invite me to join to an exciting uh, event named Mining 4.0. It's the dream world for mining companies. Thank you so much for your invitation. Thank you. So not to take much of the time and straight uh, jumping into the first question, we curious, what is the story that actually led you to your current role? What's uh, your background? If you can share it with us here. Sure, sure. Uh, actually, my background is mechanical and mining engineering, but in the, in the last 20 years, I have worked in the field of using new technologies to improve energy efficiency, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, increase productivity, and reduce the total product cost in the mining industry. Doing a PhD related to using AI to reduce fuel consumption in surface mines was the beginning of my professional journey to deploy machine learning algorithms to improve efficiency through the mine value chain. I had a chance to not only work at big mining companies such as BHP, Valley, and Glam American and Rio Tinto, but also I have worked with prestigious universities such as MIT, UCLA, UC Berkeley, Penn State University, the University of Queensland, and the University of Arizona. From about six years, I led some projects uh, to offer some AI-based solutions for the business problems that we have in Valley. Valley is a Brazilian company, but we have uh, mine, plants, and office in more than 35 countries right now. Valley is the biggest producer of iron ore and nickel in the world. For example, we are providing more than 30% of iron ore for Chinese steel market. And uh, this capability lead us to think about how we can be more efficient in our procedures and in products. And as you know, machine learning, big data analysis, and some new tools is essential for the companies that want to be leader in this area. Valley has been nominated as the 19th innovative company in the world in 2019. It means, and it, it's a great uh, rank for one company, one mining company that we have, for example, Microsoft, Accenture, Deloitte, Google, Apple in, in the list. So what, what, one thing that uh, is a difference between Valley and some other competitors in the market is focusing on mining 4.0 and digital transformation. Uh, I had a chance to lead different projects from exploration to marketing. And now I'm just focusing on some big areas, for example, shipping, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, environment and marketing areas. And Valley uh, is you know, saving right now huge amount of money, billion dollars by using AI and machine learning through the mining 4.0 in the company. If you don't mind me asking here, uh, actually, how is artificial intelligence transforming mining, if you can share it here? Sure. AI can potentially transfer the mining processes by providing prediction, optimization, and decision-making services in different mining areas for various operations. However, the integrated models can better present AI's power through the mine value chain. AI has already changed the game in the mining industry and developing the new technologies has helped AI to grow very fast. Currently, mining companies understand that the future of mining has been cooked with the advanced analytics supported by AI algorithms. 
Therefore, AI plays a critical role in digital mining transformation and is a crucial parameter in the competitive mining market. And what about digitalization? Uh, how will digitalization actually make mining operation more efficient? Digitalization will improve productivity, energy efficiency, safety, and maintenance at the same time. It also reduces the total product cost dramatically. Digitalized mine sites remotely controllable and the collected data from different mine assets can make an opportunity to complete different hypothesis tests and benchmarking processes. Digitalization also can reduce errors and human mistakes, improve safety and reduce injuries. Dr. Safaste, what is actually um, the mining industry most significant areas uh, for growth for artificial intelligence? Ah, it's a good question. AI has significantly grown in the mining processes where more historical data are accessible. Overall, AI helped to mine a lot in the field of prediction and optimization. The scope of digital technologies and artificial intelligence applications in the mining industry is broad. Mining companies have made the most use of AI in discoveries, underground and surface mines, and processing plants as well. Today, these companies have expanded the use of artificial intelligence to cover important processes such as shipping, marketing, and sales. We all know that Bali is a leader of the transformation. Uh, what actual steps uh, are being taken at your organization to be the leader? Uh, in Bali, we focus on growing innovation and making creative AI solutions for the business problems. Active collaboration with universities and research centers globally could help my organization, Valley, to be a leader in digital transformation and AI revolution between the prestigious big mining companies. Recently, our company has been recognized as the world's most creative and innovative mining company. This success has been achieved through a strong connection with the world's research center, which is uh, leader in digital transformation. We are working with more than 20 universities now and few mining companies have such a level of direct connection with universities. And is there any uh, examples that you can share uh, how artificial intelligence actually has made a difference in the work at Valley? Sure. Valley established a specific center in Vitoria, in Brazil. Vitoria is a beautiful city in Brazil, the capital city of a Espírito Santo state. But we established this center five years ago to focus on AI solutions for business problems through the mind value chain, providing integrated prediction and optimization models that help the Valley to make better technology and management decisions. Trusting AI and the science of data analysis has allowed our company to use dozens of software and application developed with the help of artificial intelligence. Many of our mining equipment is now connected to intelligent control system and working with the smart equipment has dramatically increased work efficiency, reduced the operating and maintenance costs and increased safety. Today, our company uses smart trucks, for example, and excavators in the mine and uh, that don't require the presence of a driver. We developed autonomous splits using soft sensors, intelligent crushers, sag mills, and ball mills, or other examples of deploying new AI technologies in valley mine sites and plants. Dr. Sefaste, uh, of course, uh, there are some new technologies or innovations uh, that you are excited about. Could you please name some that you are particularly excited about? 
Yeah, for sure. Because previously we used AI just to optimize some, uh, you know, the, the small parameters for optimization or reduce the fuel consumption or something like that, the mind side. But now we are thinking about having more exciting projects. For example, using AI to predict iron ore price in different markets in China and in ex-China. Applying AI to track the vessel movements aim to reduce the mine material shipping cost. Mining integrated AI optimization model to cover all binding operations from drilling to crashing. Developing AI applications to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in surface mines. Optimizing the vessel speeds to improve their energy efficiency at uh, decrease the generated carbon in, in the ocean, using fuzzy logic methodologies to estimate the new source of mine material and, uh, and the size of ore. Well, it is a couple of examples of my developed applications for Valley. And it's important to say all of these achievements are the results of team working and collaboration with global research centers and universities. But we are so excited right now because we reached a very good results. And now we have, we have some big plans to develop uh, mining 4.0 in different areas. We already uh, defined sales 4.0, marketing 4.0, shipping 4.0. And it means that we are very, you know, in, we are interested to be involved in some of uh, digital transformation and AI applications in mining. And uh, if we talk about the investment in uh, artificial intelligence, uh, could you please name what benefits have you seen in mining companies actually encouraging them to invest in AI? Yeah, it is important because uh, mining company normally uh, try to focus on some areas that they can reach to the good benefit. But for example, reduce their operation cost. It's one of the AI application in mining. Reduce their maintenance cost by having a predictive maintenance. Improve their production, reduce fuel consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. Improve safety, make better and more intelligent decisions there are samples of the benefits uh, you know companies can consider when investing in AI. Dr. Safaste, what uh, are you most excited about the future of AI applications in mining? Oh, it's it's very interesting question because you ask about the future. So we are we are living right now in the weak AI era. Okay. However, the capabilities of AI and the accuracy of AI application results are improving very fast. In the near future, we will have general and strong AI. Enhancing the power of AI applications can help the mining industry to experience a big revolution. We can think about zero entry, zero injury, and zero carbon. All these mentioned targets were dreams in the past, but the mining companies are currently planning to reach them. It means that they believe in the critical role of AI in future mining. And uh, my last question here for today is, uh, what are the challenges uh, facing mining companies in using AI and advanced analytics, if you could please share with us here. Sure. Uh, there are some technical and management challenges that the mining companies need to tackle with them in the digital transformation revolution. The first challenge is the quantity and the quality of data. Machine learning and AI-based algorithms need a massive amount of accurate data to train and test. The sensor technologies have been developed in recent years. However, the collected data from different mining equipment are very noisy and unstable. Growing the soft sensors applications and online cleaning data systems can help to solve these issues. Cloud-based analytics is the second challenge. 
The approach of saving the received data in the local servers should be changed to storing the information on cloud-based data lakes. The third main challenge is modeling. Data scientists prefer applying sophisticated and complicated uh, you know, analytical models such as artificial neural network, genetic algorithms, random forest, etc. However, in some cases in mining engineering, simple methodologies such as, for example, nonlinear regression reach better results. But we must evaluate the different models before nominating any analytical approaches. In digital transformation in mining, we have other challenges that are not the exact technical problems. For example, the maturity of people, okay? To digest the new technologies and applied science in this old industry that we are speaking about, that mining, can potentially make a critical barrier in front of developing advanced analytical solutions. We need to organize training programs for operators, supervisors, and managers to ensure they are familiar with the benefits of digital transformation. Supporting people is key to a successful digital revolution in mining. Moreover, we need to make trust, especially in management, defining the significant and long-term digital programs when the deliverables are not measurable in the short term can frustrate people. We need to focus on quick wins and short-term projects in the beginning to highlight the uh, practical benefits of advanced analytics and then plan the long-term programs. However, it doesn't mean we should define the quick wins projects. We need to make or clarify the roadmap for the entire digital transformation revolution, but we'll start with the small tasks. Great, that's a so interesting point and uh, so up to date. And uh, that's what we need to pursue in the future to combat these challenges. Dr. Uh, Safaste, thank you very much for sharing your expertise with us uh, today. We are so excited uh, for your keynote presentation at Mining 4.0 this upcoming November. We cannot wait uh, to hear what you have to say. Uh, we would like to thank you and uh, to wish you a great day. Thank you so much, Olga, and thank you again for giving me this opportunity to be with you in, in that event. Hopefully we can share the knowledge with other experts and managers in this area because it's important to share this knowledge and distribute the experience to reach to the better results and having Mining 4.0 in our hand very soon.